Hello YouTube and fellow comic book aficionados. Today I have with me the brand new release Why the Last Man Omnibus written by Brian K. Vaughn and illustrated by Pia Guerra. This series was originally released in 2002 and ran for a total of 60 issues. As you can tell by the logo here this book was released on dc's vertigo imprint which of course allows for more mature storytelling and themes uh, this series tells the story of york brown who one day wakes up to find out that he is the last male on planet earth along with his male pet monkey ampersand uh, pretty much any other organism with a Y chromosome on the planet has died mysteriously and they nobody knows why and so all of a sudden this absolute nobody is pretty much thrust into the position of being the most wanted and sought after and important person on the planet and he is not ready for it whatsoever this book follows York and Ampersand in their quest to find out exactly what happened to one half of the world's population. Uh, so as you can see, we have the front cover of the dust jacket here, image of York and Ampersand. Spine. And the back. Price tag of $150. Um, of course, you buy it on Amazon or in stock trades, it will be cheaper. Okay, so I'm going to get the dust jacket off and we'll take a look at the hardcover underneath. All right, and here we have the front of the hardcover itself. Another image of York and Ampersand. The spine. And on the back we have an image of Agent 355. All right, so let's dive into this big old boy. Another massive book from DC. I got the title page credits here. Table of contents. Contents continued. 1439 pages. Another absolutely massive book from DC Virgo. Let me dive right in. So as I said before, this story follows York Brown and his pet monkey Ampersand. Uh, if you don't know what Ampersand is, I believe it's the the and sign. I could be wrong, but I, I believe that's what it is. Um, follows them as they try to navigate basically a post kind of semi post apocalyptic world where uh, every organism with a Y chromosome just dropped dead one day except for York and his pet monkey. For some reason, we don't know why, or at least that's what they're trying to figure out, is why they were the only two who survived. You can see the artwork here by uh, P.M. Guerra. Uh, I was never really big on this artwork. I mean, it, it fits the story nicely, but it just is its very average, like just an average comic. Uh, average comic art for me doesn't really stand out. Um, what is the driving? What is the driving force of this story is definitely the, the actual uh, story itself. Uh, of course, written by the amazing and one of uh, one and only Brian K. Vaughn. That man sure knows how to write. He's given us Why the Last Man. He's given us. Uh, Ex Machina, The Runaways, 
And of course, his magnum, uh, magnum opus, uh, in my opinion at least, uh, which is Saga. Uh, the man just is a wizard with the pen. Just flip through this book and show off some of the art. And again, not my favorite style, but like I said, it definitely fits the, uh, the tone of the story, I believe. All right, showing off the binding since I'm about in the middle of the book. As you can see, it is sewn. Um, but it, again, it is 1,440 pages. So you will have some gutter loss, but we do get a bit of an eye hole here, which is nice. Um, but again, the book is just so thick that uh, you will have some gutter loss on some page. I don't think there's too many two page spreads in this series, which is nice. But uh, you know, that just absolutely amazes me. A book this big, they can get a binding that looks like this, but on, a, on smaller books like The Batman by uh, Capullo, and even the Lucifer Omnibus, which are both smaller than this book, the uh, binding is so much tighter. I mean, look, see see the lift that that has? That's what you want to see. And, you know, for a book this big, it's it's that's really impressive. So, uh, it's DC showing their inconsistency, I guess. But, uh, yep, decent binding. This book was actually my first foray into non-superhero comics. I read it, God, I want to say over... 10, 12 years ago for the first time, and it was, I couldn't put it down. I bought all the trade paperbacks uh, for this whole entire series, and I, I flew through them, so for all 60 issues, I just couldn't put it down. It was so good. Uh, this story has been previously collected in, like I said, uh, trade paperbacks. I think there's about five different collections of those. Uh, five different uh, deluxe uh, hardcovers of the same it's the same content of the trade paperbacks they have actually released three absolute editions as well um, if you're a fan of that oversized format again I did not feel the artwork warranted getting that big of a book um, and when I heard they were releasing an omnibus I just this I knew this was gonna be the, the route I wanted to take in collecting this uh, amazing series Get back here. I don't want to spoil anything. So we got a, a brief sketchbook in the back. And then the biographies. So that is it on the Why the Last Man Omnibus. I do believe that the Absolute Editions contain a lot more bonus content between the three of them than this Omnibus has. So if that's a big selling point for you, then definitely go the, the Absolute route. Um, but you'll be spending 75 bucks a pop on those, whereas this is about oh, $85 right now on in-stock trades, I believe. Um, but yeah. Absolutely brilliant series, one of my all-time favorite non-superhero uh, series. Uh, absolutely love this to death. Um, and I, from what I understand, I have heard that they are there. Supposedly, is a TV series based on the comic uh, in production. But I, it's been first time I heard that was a few years ago, and I, I haven't heard anything else since. Supposedly, it was it was being developed for the. Uh, FX channel, but uh, yeah, we'll see if that even comes to fruition. No telling. But uh, that is the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of this series uh, in general. Is this a book you're going to be picking up? Or uh, maybe just stick with the trades? You know, Let me know down there. Um, if you did like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, do that whole thing. I will see you on the next one. Thanks.